existing side guys. registers with the last operation will start crease. So we know that our feeder will be exactly in register with the last operation. Guaranteeing good results. Nice slapping sound means it's sorting the warp out. So it has two jobs. Feed anything, manage your production. Correction is on. Here's our feed, feed sensor working. There's our drum encoder working. There's our total machine cycle since we installed it. There's our compensator correction. Every sheet. Point one, between one and the half a millimeter correction. That model fits anything. All we do is set up the characteristics on the panel as we showed. Rollback servo lead edge feeder with production management. Recently developed from Course of International is the mobile stripping unit called rotor strip. Not normally needed on a rotor cut because of electrostatic stripping, it's useful where rotary forms are in not particularly good condition and some additional help is needed to shake off the trim. Rotor strip is mobile and can be relocated elsewhere in the plant so that you hand feed die cut work off hand plattens In fact, a dual purpose machine. Mobility also means that it's easy to set the backstop. Batching is controlled by the feeder on the rotor cut. A gap is left in the flow of material to give the operative time to take off the bundles and to stack them. Installations are carried out in about three days. The totally modular concept employed by CR Limited on all its design allows an interchange of backstops between rotor stack and rotor strip where the job requires it. Controlling the waste from the rotor cut and in particular the employment of no edge trim die cutting greatly simplifies waste management. The volume is decreased and the waste trim is directed to exactly where you want it to be. Everything you see here on the film is mobile on wheels including the cross conveyor so that it's very easy to clean up after the ship. Rotor stack is a new concept in takeoffs. Unlike a conventional stacker, it's mobile, and unlike a conventional stacker, it has an off-machine backstop. 
which can be moved around. The backstop is a dual purpose with a vertical face for auto stacking and a horizontal conveyor for batching. Note the clean stripping and the absence of waste trim around the working area of the machine. Broadband plastic conveyors are employed in the design of rotocut and rotor stack for safety. They are also easy to work with. This modular concept of design allows a rapid installation in the field. Rotocut is pre-installed in our factory and tested and we expect it to be installed in the customer's plant in less than a day. Rotostack looks a simple concept, but all the development work has gone into its ability to control sheets. very sensitive optical sensors and hydraulics make total control possible. Another patented feature of RoadCut is its constant geometry capability. Penetration into the anvil is controlled. Our latest development, launched at the end of 2004, is offline rotor print. We believe that future sheet plant operations will embrace the concept of a freestanding plain die cutter and a freestanding printing machine because of the flexibility that it provides printing quality is much higher than you would achieve in an inline operation and you remove the conflict of interest between plain and printed work. This also allows you to import work for high quality print. which is turning the sheets around through 90 degrees so that the long way dimension is the circumference gives new capability. Very high print resolution and of course you are orientated in the correct sense to be able to put corrugated scores and slits in the sheet. This allows multi-out printing on the one machine. We believe in a small to medium plant environment, but being able to print and die cut at different times gives new capability.